Uh, good morning, Nightsmith. Good morning, YouTube, and good morning to everyone else who's going to find me in here. <sighs> we already have one viewer. Beautiful. Let's pop out this chat and uh, get that loaded into my OBS. Copy. Doobly doo. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Properties and paste. Okay. All right, so that we got that and that. So how is, how is everyone this morning? I am uh, I'm still waking up. My, my 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 phone says I got a full night's sleep. I definitely didn't, um, and I have no idea how to uh, remedy that this morning other than some coffee. So, how is everyone else doing this morning? And let's get this shared around. Hopefully we can get a few peoples in here. Nightsmith. Share that. Click. Clickety click click click. I uh, will share this around. And we're gonna get started here. Uh, share to page. Go creative. Share. And let's get on the Twitter. The Twitter. Tweedly dee tweet. Yep. Oh boy. Yeah, I am still dead asleep. <laughs> oh, paste. Tweet. Okay, so four people in here. Who who's who's with me and how are y'all doing? Let's see. Let's get over to the chat screen and get this guy started. Good morning, Joe, and good morning, Eileen. Slept better than the last three nights. Beautiful. I'm very glad to hear that. Very, very glad to hear that. So I actually do have uh, uh, two pieces of good news here. Uh, this disgusting garbage is going down the sink. Right after we get off of the live stream. My uh, new vape juice came in last night, and uh, I didn't see the notification till this morning. But it is a welcome sight on a Monday morning. The other piece of good news is I actually finished the SD card holder. Well, 99% finished. But my little congratulation note on the inside to my brother, who ended up winning, did all the stitching. And I got all the edges all trimmed up and, and finished all nice like. So there we go. Two little pockets on the inside. For the first wallet type thing I've ever built, I am very happy. Um, so the only thing I have to do today is to slick down the edges and uh, get this in a shipping box. Very happy. So what did everyone else do yesterday? And of course, I'm starting off with the last pumpkin muffin and a cup of uh, uh, Maxwell House. Actually, not even just how, how yesterday was. How was all of this weekend for you? Because I, 
we stopped talking at, at noon on Saturday, and there, there's a whole rest of the day there. Oh. <clears throat> For me, oh, there's four people in here now. It's like this is starting to get popular or something. I think it was all that darkness that we were talking about on on Saturday. All you guys were getting all nasty and naughty in the chat. I always have some sort of song stuck in my head. Every every time we, we start we start talking. And that's partially because that's how I uh, warm up my voice. I sing a little bit before, before, uh, before I get started. You know, whenever I start recording a video, I I sing a wee bit and try and uh, get the old pipes slightly less full of cobwebs. Um, the wife and I actually went over to the in-laws' house. Um, uh, Saturday evening uh, to do a social distancing picnic so we picked up some KFC and went over there and because uh, they haven't seen seen uh, their grandson in several weeks um, random M hello hello Aunt. hello mr. random M or Rand M how are you doing this morning Let's see, Eileen bought a few things I could probably have waited on and a few things done in the craft room. Awesome. Uh, so we did a social distancing picnic outside and had some KFC, and that was nice. Uh, I mean, they didn't get a hold of hold Connor, but uh, good morning. Good morning, Michaela. Um, they didn't get a hold of him, but it was really nice. And then, uh, smart, I do something similar before I record. Thank you. Uh, I'd be curious as to what you do. Maybe we should try and figure out a... Uh, I could probably do a video on that at some point. Man, that'd be a weird-ass video. And a good morning, Lara. Um, and then... Alright, so there, there was this uh, post going around on Facebook, and actually someone commented, uh, tagged me in it first, and then you know we started talking. Coughing. The Pokemon? Someone wants to ma me to make them a weed pipe. That is coughing related. Um, and I think that is so much, that's going to be so much fun. Uh, because they actually wanted to spew, spew the smoke out the sides and stuff. And uh, yeah. That'll be kind of cool, I think. My hair is everywhere this morning. Um, so I think what I'm going to use is maple. Uh, make it a little bit smaller than the size of a uh, baseball. So it's going to have to be something, you know, like a three inch by three inch block of maple. Um, so I think it's going to be really cool. And I, you know, I'm going to have a detachable stem on the back and I think I'm going to make a little stand for it. Um, so it could be like a display piece when you're not, when not in use. Um, they want it painted. So that's why I chose maple instead of something like burl or cherry or black walnut. Um, Cause maple will hold up well enough. Uh, because it is a hard, dense wood if I use like a, a silver maple or rock maple. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a, a cool little project. Should, shouldn't take too long. I mean, well, actually it should take, it'll be a little bit more difficult than my other pipes because they're just turned on the lathe. This I have to turn, mill it out, and then, oh no, mill it out, turn it, and then from there... I have to because coughing has those like weird bumps all over them, so I have to I have to turn to the outside of those. Then inside in inset everything, the rest of his skin. And then paint it. Um, but I think it's got to be a ton. I think it's got to be super cool and just a lot of fun. Um, text messages and everything else. Uh, what else did I do this weekend? Today I learned there's different types of maple. Yeah. Um, 
there are like uh, 20 different species of maple 18 20 different species of maple um uh it can pr primarily be broken down into uh soft maple and hard maple soft maple works a little bit more like pine and hard maple uh sometimes called rock maple or silver maple is hard as fuck um but it is so pretty it really is so pretty um, I also have another idea for a pipe um, I want to make it like a fish skeleton I've talked about it before on the channel but not in like a year or two um, but I want to make this one just a, a, a regular tobacco pipe because I want to be able to use it um, and the idea is to make it like a whole fish skeleton when it's sitting upside down um, so the the head would be the bowl and then the spine would be hollowed out um, for the uh, for the stem and the little tail would pop off and that's you know that's your bit um, and you know I'll, I'll have some sort of rib rib structure and stuff on it um, so I'll probably end up making both of those uh, out of that same piece of maple I'm going to be getting because that that that's something I've wanted to do for quite a while um, and they're both pipes and they're both uh, carving projects which is a little out of my normal wheelhouse so it'll be fun and every tree species has a plethora of variants um, even though it doesn't seem like they should uh, Uh, oh, I also found my webcam. Um, so I'm not going to be using my cell phone for the project uh, project shots anymore, which is going to be good because that Droid Cam app, while it works, well, it does work very well. It um, it doesn't give the highest quality image, um, just because it's you know goes through Wi-Fi this that, and the other and I'm not paying for a uh, an app you know to use my phone as a webcam it's not that important um, so this actually will shoot in 1080p the same as my uh, image now so it should be pretty good um, so small improvements just itty bitty micro improvements but improvements nonetheless um, what else was there I woke up this morning with like five distinct things to talk to you guys about. And for the Dickens, I, I cannot remember a single one of them now. <laughs> um, yep, it's gone. I don't know. It'll come back eventually. And I'll sound like a madman rambling off again, as usual. <laughs> it was something I really want to tell you guys, though. It was really cool. This is going to bug me so... Yeah, poof gone. Poof. It was so cool, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. Ah, So... I think you told me what you did. What about what about the rest of you guys? Laura, uh, 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 Morning D or not Morning D, Random, um, Michaela. What you what you guys do? This oh Clone Wars, yes Clone Wars started coming out again. I think there's only gonna be a couple episodes left. So 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 super happy and stoked about that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, since this is gonna be such a unique piece of wood. I'm going to have to get for um, just this coughing pipe. It's going to have to be so big just because of you know, mill uh, requirements. Um, maybe I should do several different carved pipes. 
it's just uh michaela your 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 um comment about clone wars just got me got me thinking like well maybe i should do a clone helmet uh duh that'd be pretty cool yeah i could do that yeah yeah <sighs> Yeah, this uh, Friday's episode of Clone Wars was so cool. Um, oh, I remember Duolingo. Um, uh, yeah, Duolingo. Me and the wife just started uh, started working on that, and um, we're start we're we're starting off with some Irish Gaelic. So super excited on that. I, I, I've wanted to learn Gaelic my entire life. Um, Joe, the new season of Clone Wars is great so far. Yeah, right? I am so happy with how they're taking everything and, and all, all the different directions they're taking. Um, and something cool they're doing about it. They already had the whole season hashed out and, and f figured out for the preliminaries. Um and when Clone Wars got canceled, for God knows what reason, they just released whatever they had into the wild. Um, you know, three years ago, four years ago, whatever it was. Um, but since everything's you know starting to gain back in popularity and everything, they decided to take their preliminaries and. Um, actually tweak and modify some things so that it fits more seamlessly into uh, the new canon um, because you have several different things that you need to accommodate for that weren't in canon yet uh, mainly rebels um, oh boy some odd gunk uh, so how there's you know starting to feather things together and get things worked in and um solo wasn't a movie yet so they're they're working on getting that tied in and, and, and stuff with maul um yeah i'm super i'm super happy with how they're doing uh doing it and i think they're doing a fantastic job and everything seems just a little bit more punchy a little bit more you know drastic it's the end of the war everyone just wants to get this thing over with <sighs> great it's all great Need to peel the little doily type thing off the cupcake. Not cupcake, muffin, muffin. What really is the difference between a cupcake and a muffin? And what the devil is that noise? I'm getting a ton of messages on my phone. I don't even know why. All right, let's see. Well, six of us in here now this morning. B E A U T full. Um, it's only been twenty minutes in. I feel like we just started. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. One is <laughs> mm, one is just more appropriate to eat in the morning can't have kids eating cupcakes for breakfast the ingredients uh one's cake base while the other is usually some kind of vegetable base i 
Well, then what about apple cake? Because they're both, you know, you know, muffins and... It, yeah. Oh, yeah. There. there you go, Arlene. What about carrot cake? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the merry bunch of assholes I surround myself with. <laughs> mm. Speaking of carrot cakes and apple cakes and stuff, I really have to make some apple cake. Um, the best recipe I found, actually my mom found it, it was you take the uh, Campbell's zucchini bread recipe and you substitute um, Granny Smith apples for the zucchini, uh, same amounts, and instead of baking it in a loaf pan, you bake it as a sheet cake. Oh. Favorite type of favorite type of cake and and honestly like my favorite type of breakfast food even though it's not really a breakfast food um yeah yeah you got that you get a you get a nice chunk of that and then you get a, a, a nice big cup of um uh, apple tea mm. best way to start the morning you know, if you don't, if it's inappropriate to have a pipe and a beer first thing in the morning. <laughs> Carrot cake is the devil. <laughs> Let's see uh, that apple crumble I made. <sighs> Carrot cake is heavenly, Joe. Um, Eileen, haha, that apple crumble. I made at Cooney Street. Hey, that was really good. I actually enjoyed that. Was that mushrooms or, or, or squash that you used? I, I know it was one thing that Mike hated. I thought it actually turned out very well. I, I, I do enjoy a good uh, food experiment, though. Ooh, so... I had two bottles of my um, my apple cider last night, and both popped like a zucchini, because nah. you used like the the cinnamon spices and then the sugars and stuff. Um, but they both popped like you wouldn't believe. It's like a gunshot when I when I cracked those lids. Oh. And it was like, they were like violently carbonated too. It was awesome. And I already burped them a couple times. So it's not like they, it was just, they were just fermenting for the last, you know, month in the fridge. No, they, I just, so happy. Next time I go back to the apartment, I should, uh, I should take note to burp all the rest of them just in case. Because that would be a very unfortunate mess to come back to once all this is over. And so passes the last pumpkin muffin. Let us all take a moment of silence. Okay. Moments passed. So I have two options with which to slick down these edges today. Um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, because the, the idea of slicking down the edges is, is, and burnishing them is, um, I don't know if you can see it, but as this, you know, as the fibers and stuff get, get cut and stuff, it leaves just a slightly rough edge. 
um, and what you do is, is you take some um, you know beeswax or gum trag or you could even do it with water um, the idea is to fill up the crevices in the uh, in the fibers and then just take them and lay all those fibers down so you got a nice round um, and clean edge so with that kit that 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 basic leather kit that I got last year or yeah I think it was last year for Christmas um, it came with this conglomeration that they call beeswax eh, I've never seen beeswax look like this before but maybe I just need to remelt it so it's you know a co cohesive uh, thing as opposed to whatever this is um, but I think I'll try try this first um, and then I'm also going to do some deliberate practice today um, and deliberate practices is something that I think everyone should should focus on and try um, try to do Um, and what I mean by, by deliberate practice is it, uh, it, it's practice with a purpose. It's not just aimlessly doing things or trying to learn while you're in the middle of a project like I do. <laughs> um, so today with all the scraps I made, I, excuse me, I am so sorry. Um, with all those scraps that I got from doing this guy I'm going to practice different ways on skiving edges um, and trying to get my stitch stitching groove or tuned up um, just not sharp enough and doesn't cut very well and I don't know why and I don't like that I don't know why I cleaned it out and sharpened it up yesterday and I thought I had a great um, a great thing going but I, I guess I was wrong I, I just couldn't get it done so I want to I want to work on doing some of those and you know work on slicking those edges down today um, gonna start playing around in the stock market a little bit because since things are so volatile right now I think it'd be a good time to get in um, not to give you all too much financial advice but uh, if you have some money I think today Today's a good day to, to, to look into it and, and, and maybe, you know, put in five, six hundred dollars and uh, spread it around a little bit into different places where you think it's going to bounce back after this whole lockdown is over. Um, because things are going to come back after this is done. Things are going to change back to some semblance of normal. Um, and prices are going to start rising again. So if you have the ability, I, I think now is a good time to get in. Um, I think it's a worthwhile investment um, because we're not getting any younger and the way this world is looking it, it we're probably never going to be able to retire um, and a lot of you know, I'm getting on a dark tangent again but it, it, it looks like we're never going to really be able to retire it I don't think I ever want to but it would be nice to have that option if I get to be like 80, 90 years old, I don't want to be going to work. I want to be able to just do my own thing, tell kids to fuck off and get off my lawn. Um, can't do that if I'm sitting in an office as an old codger. Um, so you, you, you need to look out for yourself and I think this would be a good way to start doing that. Because a lot of the people on here that I'm that I'm seeing comment normally are around my age, a little bit older, a little bit younger, um, and now now is a good time in our life to uh, start looking at our future. Because apparently, somehow, we didn't end up getting ourselves killed before by the time we were 25. Honestly, you know, growing up, I didn't think I was going to last past 25 years old. 
and somehow I'm still around, so maybe I should start looking towards the future. Joe, I have a lot of opinions about this. <laughs> I think we all do, to be honest. Um, and I would actually be very interested to hear your your opinions. Um, yeah. I think it would be interesting to uh, talk about that with you. Either on here or, you know, through Facebook Messenger or whatever. I think it would be interesting. Now, I'm not trying to say I'm some sort of financial guy or, or a guru of any sort, but um, I look at things and I, I try and pay attention to the world around me. Um, and, and I try and see how things are, are going and how... I can see them going and trying to project as much as I can in the future. If that makes sense. So I think I talked about it on here. Opinions haven't been able to listen uh, till now. What I miss. You missed a lot. Um, we're contemplating world domination by the time we're 45. Welcome to the dark side. I would be careful asking for people's opinions in this climate. Much better to stick to leather and motorized couches. See, long story short, we are seeing the intro of a new normal. There's a lot of things I hope are permanently different, including an uptick in small business. Yes. Um... That is one thing I, I am thinking uh, might happen. At least I'm hoping it's happening, gonna happen, because I, I, I am a small business. Um, and uh, that's one thing that I think, that's one positive thing um, that I think will come out of this is, is we will, um, we will be more conscious of where we get our produced goods. Uh, and that can never be a bad thing. And, you know, Michaela's right. I don't want to get, anyth get into anything that's too heavy on, on this. Um, uh, because I don't want to turn this into a political show. That That's just not my, my bag. Um... But I'm always interested in hearing uh, uh, people's opinions, even if they differ from my own. Um, but I really hope people will start being more uh, conscious of, of where they get things and, you know, shop more small business, local businesses, um, other than these giant mega corporations. I hope that people realize how fragile our, our whole system is. And maybe take steps to start making that more hardy. And I really hope, I really, really hope people start respecting medical personnel a lot more. Um, because, like, why wouldn't you? Most of these people never make a lot of money. Most of these people bleed, sweat, and cry for your well-being, and a lot of times they get shit on, especially with different movements um, that have been going on in, in the recent, recent past. So hopefully, you know, this, this garners some change for them, and not just, uh, not just doctors and nurses, but, you know, cleaning, you know, the cleaning staff. Um, because they're they're going around a, a, and trying to you know figure this all out. I hope and, and get things clean. And they're putting their life on the line just as much as some of these these other people because they're cleaning up the shit that's that's left around after the doctors and nurses walk out and the patient is gone. So they're putting their lives at, you know in, in some sort of risk. The CNAs who who assist the nurses and the the LPNs who assist the nurses and all the nurses and the doctors and all the whole staff. 
because at the end of the day, it wasn't it wasn't people, you know, it wasn't it was scientists and and, and janitors and grocery workers and, and doctors and nurses who are getting us through this bullshit. Not athletes, not you know, superstars, celebrities. Um, and it's people, it's makers that are helping to make ventilators. It's makers who are making masks for people because industry can't keep up. It is makers who are doing ear savers to help make doctors and nurses and all the other personnel a little bit more comfortable while they're trying to save somebody's life. Makers. So. Uh, all right. Little tirade rant thing off to the side. So I hope people are going to be more conscious of where and how they get things. I hope they start having more respect for for people. And let's see. Uh, Joe, I missed that comment. Well, if you look at the landscape, both financial impacts, scorched earth creates plantable soil. Yes, it does. Um, and and I, I, re I really do think it, 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 it does. Um, and that is a very, you're, you're right, Michaela, that is a good, uh, good metaphor. Um, yeah, respect for medical personnel and stop, I stop idolizing athletes. Uh, same. My husband is a chef for a small family owned business. It's been crappy for them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I hope people also start to understand how important it is for industries to return to the U S I would definitely pay more to ensure that my products aren't coming from sweatshops. Yeah. Big time. And he here's the thing too. Um, and I know a little bit about this uh, more in depth because uh, Michaela is a nurse and most of my family are in the medical profession. A lot of our drugs, like life-saving shit, is made in China or in one country or another. That's not here. And now everything is locked down. Um, remember a few years ago when Puerto Rico went through all that bullshit with uh, the tsunami or hurricane or earthquake or something? I'll give you a second to think about it. All IV bags in the United States were made in Puerto Rico. And their factory shut down. Why would you do that? Why would you just get this huge, important, life-saving good from only one country? Like, Jesus Christ, it's salt water in a bag. Make it here. May make it in, in three different countries, four different countries. So if the supply chain ever gets screwed up for one reason or another, you're not going to see people die. So I really want manufacturing to come back to the United States. I want to see blue collar workers become more prevalent in the United States. I want to see mom and pop shops popping back up. Um, I want to see people start buying from, from, and that's not really getting political. That's just logistics. Um, that really is just logistics. You should never have all of one resource coming from only one location. It's just stupid. Um, because we were put in a really bad spot because of Puerto Rico and we didn't learn anything. We didn't learn anything from that. So I hope things are going to change for the better. Um, but with all that change, um, and if you guys are a little bit of Game of Thrones savvy. Chaos is a ladder. 
and yeah, it, that's not that's not politi- political at all. I'm not assigning blame. I'm not assigning partisanship or politics to any of it. It is really just logistics and economy. Um, and for some reason, some people people do think logistics and economics are political they're they're not um economics when you really look at it are a very fascinating and telling social science um i i can do a whole spin off into there but you you don't want things coming you don't want all of one resource coming from one location because if for whatever reason that location gets screwed up, that supply chain gets screwed up, you're SOL. So, you know, I hope people diversify that way. Um, I'd like to see some of it being made here in the United States, at the very least some of it, so that if things like this happen again, we're not caught with our pants down. Um... Yeah. So I think things are going to change. I at least I hope so. Um, this is getting dark <laughs> and kind of off on tangent, but I, I I I think if you if you guys have the money now, it's it's a good time to look towards um, doing some sort of investments. Um, it's a good time to retool all your thinking and really examine where you want to go within the next two to three years at the very least two to three years because for the most part we have the time now um so yeah look towards the future be intelligent and um I think we all might come out of this just a wee bit better. Let's see, Joe. On a side note, how'd the car work go? Actually, pretty good. Um, we got the wife's car up and running, which is good. The, the, the battery was all corroded and nasty, so um, we get that got that all straightened out and finished. Um, my dad just wanted to retool a few things on his car, which was good. And... Um, I didn't get the new rotors and brakes for my Subaru, but I need to. But that'll be sometime this week. It's today's looking pretty crappy. So, oh boy. So I'm not going to be doing anything there, but uh, soon I hope to be. So my new water slide paper came in yesterday, so that I'll be trying that out awesome super excited for that if you guys want to talk uh, you know in any more in-depth stuff uh, that might get a little too heavy for for um, the live stream or for Nightsmith in general feel free to message me um, you can find me on Facebook there's a there's a Facebook group Nightsmith we'll talk I enjoy, I really do enjoy discourse, whether I agree with you or not, as long as you have, you know, good reasoning behind things, I, I appreciate it I, and I enjoy it. Jesus, another, another whole slew of messages. Oh boy. You know, it, see, it seems like Whenever I'm busy, I get a million people who, who want to talk to me. Um, but as soon as I have free time, and I don't know why this is, but as soon as I have free time, no one else can give me the time of day. <laughs> um, just a funny little, funny little coincidence that I think everyone notices. And there, there's got to be some sort of phenomenon name or something for that hmm. if you can figure that out let me know oh boy ah, 
Good news, I think I'm starting to wake up a little bit. Nine forty-five. Better be awake. Ah, water slide paper. Do tell. Yes, Eileen. Enlighten us on this water slide paper. One of my beard hairs, for whatever reason, decided to invert itself and stick straight up my nose. My eyes are watering a little bit. Oh boy. That was not pleasant. Hello. Now I'm definitely awake. <laughs> it's like a temporary tattoo, but for glassware, ceramics, or tumblers. Um, that's going to be so cool. And I am so, 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 so excited to talk about things with you related to your water slide paper, Eileen. Um, like, you don't even know. <laughs> I think we're going to have some fun with it. Um, and that's all related to, to merch coming out, uh, you know, in the, in the near future here. Um, because, oh, that's the other thing I want to talk to you guys about. Okay. Uh, redoing uh, my web presence, uh, the Nightsmith web presence. Um, I have all of these different, uh, well, you can see on the bottom of the screen here, I have all these different things that I'm doing on the internet. And it's honestly way too much for me to handle. And I can't afford to have an assistant right now. So I'm going to be chopping some of that back. Um, and I think I talked about one or two, I think I talked about this with one or two of you before. But I'm getting off Etsy and I'm... Um, Got to be building my own, um, building my own website here because I have a blog too that I never use. I pay like eighty bucks a year for it, ninety bucks a year for it, um, and it's really not that much. It's not that expensive, but I, I don't use it. I don't use Etsy anymore because everything is, is custom commissions or stuff. So why am I going to be on these these websites when I don't need to be? It's useless distraction. So I'm going to be pairing things off and redoing things. Um, and hopefully within the next week or two, I'm going to be having an actual Nightsmith website. Um, and on that website, it's going to be merch and Eileen's going to be making the merch. Um, okay, but back to her explanation. It's like a temporary tattoo, but it's for glassware, ceramics, or tumblers. Then bake it for the glass or ceramic. With tumblers, it'll be covered in, in epoxy. Have to make a stop at the Dollar Tree to pick up a few mugs, pick up some mugs to try a few things out. Etsy charges so much too. They do. They really do. And they just started um, this new policy where they're going to force creators to pay for advertising, whether they want to or not. Um, so I'm getting out of, I'm getting away from Etsy. Um, I never got a lot of traffic there. I never made much money there. And it's just becoming a toxic environment for me, especially since they allowed uh, two or three years ago. The whole point of Etsy was to be a handmade site. Um, and a couple of years ago, they changed the rules where you could get, you know, I think it was like five years ago, they started allowing vintage things on there, which, eh, but it's not stuff that's being produced anymore so how big of a market competition can it be and then a couple of years you know later they they just did this whole thing where they, they started allowing mass produced goods in there and it just ew so it, it's just a toxic environment now and, and I need to get out of there and I think a lot of people need to get out of there because they, they ruined um, in my opinion, they ruined their website.
Yeah, and they, they, they allow things that were pre-bought. Um, so now it's also kind of like a yard sale site. Like, ew. But it's supposed to be like fancy and curated. Um, so I'm going to be getting off Etsy because forget that noise. And I think it'll be good to consolidate uh, three or four of my web presences down into one place that, that, that that's slick and, and clean and nice. Um, so I'd have, you know, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and my website. Um, no more Etsy, no more Google+, Plus, no more Pinterest. Um, and I, 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 I really don't post to Reddit that much. Um, so I'm probably going to be taking that off the repertoire as well. Or at least the general repertoire, because I, I don't have my own subreddit, so why would I put that up there? Um, kind of like how craft fairs are now. So much mass produced. Yeah, they are. Um, I tried selling at a few craft fairs and I was very surprised um, by what shit hawks there were. Um, there are some people who are just selling makeup. Like that crappy makeup you get from MLMs. And they just had a whole booth full of that shit. Um, some people were, were, were reselling uh, uh, essential oils and stuff. Like, how is that a craft? You didn't make that shit. You bought it. What is wrong with you? You shouldn't be allowed in a craft fair. There's nothing crafty to it. Like, no. No. Make something. That's the point of a craft fair is handmade crafts. Bake something. Build something. Paint. Draw. It's just disappointing. It's, it, it, that, that, that's the word for it. Disappointing. It's really disappointing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, craft fairs. Um, so I, I, I don't know... Which we're not gonna be taking with the, you know all of that. Um, but a lot of craft fairs are disappointing because they they are, amen. Um, a lot of craft fairs are are disappointing now. So I I, I want to I want to start pairing stuff off and, and getting myself a little bit more uh, lean uh, running in the future. So it'll be a lot easier for me to handle everything, and it'll also be a lot more. Uh, when I do bring on staff, it'll be a lot easier for them to acclimatize and get into the mindset of working for um, for Nightsmith. And I think it'll be you know, just better all around. Let's see. <laughs> well, it's a philosophical issue, not until the idea of big box versus small business. The inclination to create isn't what it was. Um, I think you're wrong there. Um, I see a lot of people in the last five years really turning towards making. Um, a lot of people are doing microfacturing, which uh, is the antithesis to manufacturing. You know, small runs of everything. Um, like what I do, you know, I, I don't do runs of any product more than a hundred. No, I think more than 500, everything's small. Um, and, and I think that's really starting to, to, to really change. Um, and really with, with, with all the PPE shortage, um, I think that's being highlighted more than ever now. Uh, people microfacturing um, for the greater good, actually, even. Yeah. Let's see, Joe, you don't realize how much you misspell until your comments are on a screen. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any spell check either, is there? It just kind of bleep. There you go.
So Nightsmith is going to be leaning down, getting some dockside energy, and um, getting some merch soon. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I think things are going to be running a lot better really, really soon in this future here. Um, I'm excited. That was me on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you misspelled a lot, but it was, it was fun. I, I, I mostly understood what you're trying to get at on Saturday. Jeez, cheesy Pete's more messages. Uh, this one's actually kind of relevant. Web domain for small business and artists that directs shoppers to makers' websites directly, like Amazon, but instead of a collection of products, a collection of small businesses' websites, all U.S. based. That was uh. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check that out. Jeez, it happened again. My 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 mustache is attacking me. Ah, oh, it's not a fun feeling. Okay. And Duolingo is yelling at me now that I need to go practice my Gaelic. You know, I'm actually happy that I'm starting that Duolingo because um not only is it good for me, it's good for, you know, my brain and it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, it also yells at me. <laughs> I know that's kind of a, a weird thing, but I, I do appreciate the constant, hey, go practice, hey, practice, hey, practice, hey, hey, hey. It's kind of like Navi from uh, uh, Legend of Zelda 64 and Majora's Mask. Oh, no, you didn't have Navi and Majora's Mask. Did you? No, you didn't. You had that other fairy. And then you didn't have any, either of them, when you went to Twilight Princess. But, anyways. Uh, I think I'm going to have to have a, a little... Hmm. Hmm. I just got an idea. It's not fully fleshed out yet. But that whole, hey, listen, Navi, Duolingo type thing popping through my brain. Um, as well as getting some uh, classes together for some new YouTubers. Um, which is mostly a conglomeration of different you know, vlogs and stuff that I've watched over the last five years all condensed down into playlists of who, who you need to watch, where, you know, where you need to go and that sort of thing. Um, and then talking about mascots with Eileen, I think a couple of days ago on Facebook. Um, Things are firing. They're not done firing yet, but things are firing. And, and hmm, ideas, ideas. Oh boy, ideas are, are firing in my brain. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I need to go get another cup of coffee. Uh, it's ten o'clock. I hope you guys had a good morning. Um, I hope this was enlightening to you, and. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourselves and I hope to see you again tomorrow. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow morning. And end. End.